All right, so I'm gonna give you a brief overview of the Kufatec adapter harness to get the high beams working. Essentially, I actually have a knockoff adapter harness, but uh, it works perfectly fine. There's an additional ground wire that comes with this harness, and using a multimeter, I found the ground uh, point where it's able to be grounded. It should be located right here on this bracket. Anyway, um, you have to take off your halogen plug from your halogen headlight which comes with the car and plug in the harness in between this is the car side or halogen side of the harness and this is the xenon side of the harness so essentially what needs to happen is everything plugs in but before you plug it in if you want to get your high beams working without routing those shutter wires back to the center central electronic control module you need to take a Volkswagen repair wire that has the correct pin head to be plugged into pin 8. So you take pin 8 which is on the car side of the harness, it's the high beam um, switch or the pin that gives the tells the car to turn on its high beam on the halogen side and then you need to connect that to the shutter wire which is coming off of your harness on pin 11 and here it's hard to tell but Pin 11 has this white and blue wire that's coming out of it that is really long and goes to the central electronic control module. Well, that needs to be spliced in the middle right here where the zip tie is. And once you do that and plug everything back in, you'll have working high beams. You do that for, this is right now the passenger side, and you do it for the driver's side as well. Just to recap how you actually get this repair wire in, that's again pin 8 if you look right there the yellow wire you take out this little waxy uh, moisture um, this this wax uh, plug and you can plug in the repair wire into pin 8 after unlocking the hot harness and then you splice it again to that trigger wire which is on pin 11 in this case you can see pin 11 right there and the white and blue wire coming out of it. That's really all you need to do. Um, there's instructions on how to actually unlock the harnesses, but you'll probably need a paper, paper clip and a lot of patience. Good luck.